Hey friends, welcome back. Um, today we're going to do a <laughs> sink or float test. Um, and I've got a few items here that Heather helped me pick out. So we have a bottle. bottle. We have a rubber ducky. We got a Lego. A knitting needle. And a Lego. We have a necklace that we use for Paula's 100 day of school. We have a creation that Paula made out of beads. And I got a shoe. My I got shoe. a shoe. All right. So here is our bucket of water. Let's see if you guys can see that. Let's see if we can get them a little bit closer and make it. Heather, let's get our friend. Heather, let's get our friends a little bit closer first. Okay. All right, uh, Heather, what is the first item we're going to test out? What's the first item you want to test? The shoe? And the No, bottle. one thing at a time. All right, so we'll put the shoe in. Is it going to sink or float? Hold on. It's going to float. It's floating. It's floating. Rachie, back up just a second. Let's show our friends. So the shoe is floating. Okay. How cool is that? All right, what's our next item we're going to try out? Heart. No, Rachel, don't play with those, please. Heart, Mama. Thank you. The I heart? The heart. Okay, so that is floating. a heart. Yeah, it's floating as well, and it's made out of beads. Okay. Well, Mama. Yes, baby. It's going underwater. It's going, okay, don't touch it. Let's see what happens. Don't touch it. All right, looks like Rachel is putting in the knitting needle. Don't touch it, Heather. Let it go. It's floating too. Oh my gosh, should we find all things that float? Rubber ducky floating. Let's try our Lego. Hold on, Rachel. Rachel, hold on. Our, our Lego is floating. Oh, thank you for the necklace. Holla, Heather, don't touch it. Let it do its thing. All right, let's see here. Let's try the necklace. It sunk. All right, let's try the bottle. Okay. Put that lid on, please. Can we do it without it? Sir? Sure, you can take the lid off. Can you take off? The no, we can, the lid is fine, Heather. The lid is fine. Ooh, wait, look, look, what's happening to the blue? Oh, it went back to floating. All right, Heather, why don't you go find a few more items in the house? Why don't you go you find a few more? got it. Why can't we it? What? Rock float? Well, why don't you go get a rock? Let's see. Let's see if a rock will float. <laughs> no, that sank. What about the leaf? There's a leaf over there. Why don't you pick up a leaf? There's a brown leaf right behind you, honey. What are you doing, Rachel? All right, let's see. What is the leaf sinking or floating? It's floating. It's floating. All right, let's see. What about... Let's take this guy out. He's a little bit big. He's making it hard for us to see. What about... Um, How about our bat? Our bat? Yeah, what do you think? Let it go. Oh, our bat is too big. Our bat. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it fits. It's floating. Oh, it's just another thing. This guy's too big. Okay, that guy's too big. Let's find something else. Look at Rachel. Are you having fun touching the water? Okay, let's see. Let go. It's floating. It is. It's floating. That's one of the um, rock, the lava rock type things to <laughs> for the girls to practice on, like just walking on different surfaces. If it sinks, if you push it down. Let it go, let it go, see what happens. Hold on, let it go. Oh my gosh, it's pulling back up because it's going to float. Whoa. What else can you find, Heather? Think something else in here. Like chalk? Oh no, please don't put chalk in there. Okay. That'll make a huge mess. Oh yeah, a ball. That sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, 
It looks like that ball is floating too. Why don't you go see what else we can find? Can we take out the ball and the lava rock? Because those are kind of big and they make it hard to see. Good job. Take out that lava rock. Go set it over there with the rest of them. It's okay. Take it out. Go set it, go set it with the rest of them. Mama, the water's heavy. The water's not heavy. Do you think the water's heavy? Since when I put it in and take it out, it feels heavy to take out. Oh, I see. What other items do you think we might have? What's going on? Backwards. Oh, put it in back. That sounds like fun. Let it go, see what happens. Heather, let go and see what happens. Ooh, it's still gonna float. It's heavy for water in it. <laughs> it is, huh? <laughs> Alright guys, so that is um, our video for today. Going over what sinks and floats. Um, if you guys have, you know, oh, you want to try a water bottle? Okay. Let's try mommy's water bottle from RTIC. It's floating. It is floating. So as you can see, this project is endless. Uh, you can try tons of different things just around your house or in your backyard. See if they sink or float. Um, if you like this video and you like this type of content please give this a video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel um i will link the video or not the video i will link the article below of to where i found this idea for sinking or floating and i think we're just gonna have a little bit more fun out here uh the three of us oh no oh my gosh what are you doing you have another water bottle rachel yep okay rachel do you want to put it in Hold on, let, let Rachel. Can you put it in, Rachel? Yeah, okay. So there we go. We're just going to have some fun. Those water bottles are probably dirty anyway. I don't really care about that knitting needle. So um, consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, and we'll be back with more science projects. Oh, and this is the one we're doing today. Um, if you... I meant like the plain one. Bye. I was meant